Welcome back, everybody. This is David Whitaker, and you are listening to Serial Mysteries. Last episode, we left off with me hinting at a rather unique topic. To start, we need to go back. And y'all, when I say back, I mean way back. Back to the year 1654, Eastville, Virginia, to be precise. A new woman moves into town. She's incredibly charming and immediately has the attention of all the local men but specifically apothecary Robert Thomas. He was known and loved by everybody in the town, and the two were married after about two weeks. It's a little suspicious if you ask me. He wanted children and she knew it. It was a frequent topic of contention between the two. Everyone in town could hear them arguing at night. Their relationship was turning south fast. On the cold night of January 27, 1655, their nightly argument occurred, as normal, until it suddenly stopped. In the early hours of the following morning, citizens reported seeing police gathered outside their door. Robert was reported as dead from a gunshot wound to the head, but those that saw the body knew there was something else. His face was stretched, distorted, and gray. Given fingerprints wouldn't be used in forensics for the following 300 years, police could do nothing but follow the woman's testimony that her husband had committed suicide. She appeared broken over the loss of her husband. But she certainly seemed to sleep well at night after that. Then she disappeared. But the story doesn't end there. In 1720, newlywed pastor Harold Creed was found dead in his office again with a distorted gray face. His wife Sarah was nowhere to be found. In the year of our country's birth, 1776, Elizabeth Carroll is jailed for the supposed murder of her husband, but somehow manages to slip out of her cell and disappear off the face of the earth. Several other instances of women losing their husbands to this gray face occur through the 1800s, but it gets interesting at the turn of the 1900s as the photographs of this era are still around. Names such as Arthur Wallace, Fred Jacoby, Paul McGinnis, Raymond O'Neill, Ralph Lawrence, Clyde Owen, Hugh Patrick, Maurice Gilbert, and Alex Gordon fill the list of several men all recorded as having died with the same distorted faces. The deaths continue through the 1900s into the early 2000s and finally going dark in the year of 2005. The interesting thing is, Every time the wife is photographed, they all seem to look the same. Even weirder, she didn't age a day between the pictures. Even if they're decades apart, who is this woman? What's with the faces? Where is she now? The story's been followed by others before me, but I believe I've gathered the elements in a way that no others have before. The story is that this woman is, in fact, several hundreds, if not thousands of years old. She is some sort of supernatural being who feeds on the souls of men in order to sustain her youthful appearance. Reports specifically associated with the gray faces started in the 1600s, but it is very possible that they occurred decades, if not centuries beforehand. She is a danger to all men on this planet, and given her seeming eternal youth, any sort of attack seems unlikely to have an effect. Now the issue is, what to do with the woman? Like after she's been found, what can be done to stop her? As far as I can tell, restraining her is the only way to stop her, and keeping her away from men. But how do you restrain an immortal, seemingly unstoppable being? I will leave that for you to decide. But now, the question is, where will she- Hey babe, you ready to go to the movies? Um, yeah babe. I'll be just a minute. As I was saying, the question is, where will she strike next? What caused her to go into hiding? What is her real name? If you have any information to add, or any further questions that can be discussed in a future episode, feel free to reach out to me on my social media, at Dimwit, on all platforms, or just tag your posts with the hashtag Serial Mysteries. This has been David Whitaker with Serial Mysteries, and the serial continues. Babe. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready.
Okay, so uh, what movie were you thinking of seeing? There's this one. Babe? You, uh, you good? What's, uh, what's happening? What the? 